Hi, I'm Susan Kellner of the Ontario Pesticide Education Program, and I'm here to go over Chapter 17 with you, Pesticide Fires. There are uh, seven slides in the presentation, and it will take us about uh, five minutes to review. So uh, let's get started. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe what can be done to prevent fires, list steps to include in a pre-fire plan, and describe what to do in case of a fire. Pesticide fires have added dangers. You have the fire itself, but pesticides may be flammable or explosive, and the fumes in the runoff water can be toxic. So we have to think about air quality and where that runoff water will be going. So prevention, you wanna store pesticides far away from materials that could ignite. You wanna make sure the buildings meet the required codes building, electrical codes, and the Ontario Fire Code. And the fire department may offer um, prevention services to help with how you're going to set up your pesticide storage and storage location. You want to secure doors and windows to prevent unauthorized entry. There's a resource online at ontario.ca slash farm safety there's information to help you prevent and prepare in case of a fire, and that is uh, there from the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food, and Rural Affairs. Read that over, plan ahead. Make sure everyone knows what to do in an emergency. If a fire occurs, first, of course, get people out, animals away from the danger. Don't fight the fire yourself. Call 911, get the dispatcher that tell the dispatcher that pesticides are on site. Pre-fire plans. If you can please prepare a pre-fire plan uh, first, work with the local fire department, tell them that you store pesticides, tell them where you store pesticides, storing all those pesticides in one area, Keep an up-to-date inventory of what's in that uh, pesticide storage. Keep a list of employees to call when there's emergency. So everyone should be contacted if there's a danger at their workplace. So um, have those phone numbers in your cell phone and have a phone uh, telephone uh, tree and uh, let everyone know when a danger is happening on the farm. Keep a fire extinguisher near the storage area. Perhaps there's a, a, a quick fire that you can uh, put out yourself. You want to map a floor plan of the storage building and the surrounding area. You want to note where there are water sources and access routes and you want to have that uh, with your fire department. So when they arrive at your place, uh, they've all been made aware of where things are on your farm. Uh, make a plan for dikes and drainage. Uh, you have to worry maybe about that runoff water and you don't want that runoff water going into waterways. Purchase and keep drain covers close by. If you have drains uh, that will, water will seep into, you can uh, prevent water from entering the drains by closing them over. Train employees, family members what to do in an emergency, who's doing what, and so you know things are getting looked after and make sure that all employees could be contacted in an emergency again. First, get everyone out and prevent anyone from entering the area. If a fire occurs, initiate your plan. You're gonna evacuate the area, get people away, call the emergency number 911, tell the fire to fires about the pesticides on the farm and any other toxic materials. Note, any fire, spill, or theft that involves a pesticide must be reported to the Spills Action Center. So have the Spills Action Center as part of your emergency number listing. There's uh, an interesting new um, tool online. It's called the Agricultural Information Atlas, and that was developed by the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs, and you can create a fire and emergency map using that online tool. So uh, to find that, just uh, go uh, search for Agricultural Information Atlas, and you'll be able to put in the name and address of your location, 
and uh, start with uh, labeling a map there with the pesticide storage, access routes, sources of water. So you may find that an easy way to create an emergency map that you can share with your local fire department. This is an additional um, good resource. The Township of Perth East in Perth County has a farm fire safety program and lots of information and a great video here. So go to their website, just search Township of Perth East Farm Fire Safety Program and they have extra resources to help you as well.